Adam Savage here from Tested, standing in the Orpheum Theater in San Francisco where Hamilton is enjoying a nice long run. And I've done a video here about Kevin McCoy and his sound mixing, but I'm here to cover another aspect of sound today, and that is the customization of the sound equipment to each actor. Every actor has a different size head, different shaped ears, different needs, and different performance requirements. And all of that customization falls under the purview of Adriana Brannon. We're gonna go down into her workshop in the basement of this theater and see just how she customizes each microphone to each actor and each performance. Adriana, this is your domain. Yes. And we've been covering how the sound gets mixed during the show, but you're the business end. These are the actual microphones. And you're not just buying microphones off the shelf and putting them on mm -hmm. the actors, are you? No. Walk me through what you're what you have to do here. So I mean, I'm noticing like all these different skin tone colors because yeah. of all the different colors of skin of the performers in the show. Well, so let's start with Hamilton and Burr. So um, Hamilton and Burr obviously are on stage for the majority of the show. Yeah. So if they have a broken mic, we don't really have time for them to come off like during a song that they're not in to change the mic because they're in most of the songs. So we um, put two mics on them. So you can see right here, Hamilton has this mic right. and then this mic. And then, and then one he, of them's a backup. One of them's a backup, okay. yeah. So this one, room one right here is the main one, and mm -hmm. then this is the backup. But on the console, so if Kevin is mixing on backstage yeah. and I radio like, hey, Hamilton's A mic is going out, it's bad, he can hit a button and it goes to the backup immediately. Wow. Same with Burr. Mm -hmm. um, so, and the Burr mic is a little bit different. So with the Hamilton mic, he wears it right on his hairline, mm -hmm. and I will clip in all of his clips here. But with the Burr mic, it is actually worn over the ear. And so these mics, we fit to every person's ear, so that way no one else can wear oh, that mic. look at that. So yeah. I've worn these kind of mics, mm -hmm. uh, and I find them in the the the, the retail version mm -hmm. to be very difficult to get yeah, to the right yeah. shape. Yes. So tell me how you get the <laughs> alchemy of getting this to hold on to someone's so, ear. So um, we, I take like a, a pretty like flexible wire first, and I just get the shape of their ear. Okay. Um, and then I take a this is called music wire, a piano wire, mm -hmm. and so then we bend this to the shape of the flexible wire that mm -hmm. I got of their mold. Um, and so this can take, you know, a hit, but it'll still uh, keep a shape. Spring right it's back. It's pretty cool, yeah. But once you put force behind it, then you can, like, get this to stay, obviously. And am I looking that that's the primary and that's the mm -hmm. backup? Exactly. Fascinating. Yes. It never occurred to me that they'd just be right there in line. Mm -hmm. So the same thing with the Hamilton mic. If this goes out, then there's a button on the console that goes to the Burr B mic, which is this backup. So then we have this. But it still means that if we do have to go to this, we should try to change the entire rig as soon as we can. But right. this is, you know, our last leg. To it's slightly stand less. Up. It's less totally. awesome sound. Totally. Okay. Um, and those are the only two actors that have a redundant mic. Exactly. Yep. And then, so our ladies are all of our ladies. So they're all in wigs, so they can just wear these, much like Hamilton, but mm -hmm. under their wig. Hamilton doesn't have a wig, but they have hair. Mm -hmm. um, so this just, you know. So it's right here, much like Rick as well. Um, so, and we call that a hairline mic. Do you um, find it funny every year when the Tonys shows uh, some camera shots of a Broadway show that people type online, I hate seeing the microphones. <laughs> it's like, how else do you think you're gonna exactly. hear the show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, well, how do you think you're gonna hear the show? <laughs> Sorry. Um, but. And each of these rigs, you're custom making yes, to fit each of the exactly, actors. Exactly, yeah. And uh, also matching skin tone or matching hair color. Um, sometimes we have sweatier actors, which, you know, it's a common thing. They're mm -hmm. dancing and singing, so they get very sweaty. But we'll add some, like, reinforcement. So this is an O-ring that's just glued onto the cap. Okay. And it just acts as, like, a dropper for water. Oh. So it protects the cap of it. Oh, fascinating. Yeah, so yeah. that, like, if water is slipping down the mic, exactly. it's not getting into the element. Exactly, oh, yep. So that protects cool. that. Which also, too, helps me during the show, because if it does get waterlogged, we call it a sweat out, it sounds like this. It sounds pretty terrible. So that means that I would have to go up and try to get them as soon as possible. So this helps, you know, all of that yeah. stuff from not tapping. So. Now, I seem to have a memory. I think in one of the productions of Hamilton I saw, some mic went out and it was right during a, or after the rap battle, and so someone grabbed a hand mic <laughs> really? to finish a song. 
I mean, if it works. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it takes to get it yeah, across yeah, the yeah, line. Yeah, but that's a, I mean, that's a lucky right? situation for that part, you know? So yeah. can some of these break in in performance? Sometimes yeah. the music wire can just yeah. be so long abused. Yeah, because and also too, like, these are so um, fragile. They're so flexible and, or flexible, they're so fragile. I mean, you know, this. Right, right, And this right. is also like the connection is where most of our breaks happen. And also too, you know, so we wear these on our back, so they're sitting, yeah. like sometimes that can like, you know, cause damage to the connection. And you, um, uh, you see you've already done a lot of strain yeah, relief there exactly. to try and run that off and, of the And also something else that I do is I, when I start to build these, I break away the connection just a little bit, and I put super glue under it, and I put it back on, and then I put heat shrink over it as well. So and that really helps to you know, keep it a little more stable. And I know that the low profile is really key, but I have a suggestion. To, totally, Have, have yeah. you ever considered 3D printing a little thing that that would go over these two and just provide a little extra strain relief, but not inhibit necessarily the form factor? Uh, no, I haven't, but I would like to know more. <laughs> <laughs> It's stra strain relief is a, is a bugbear for me. It's a, gotcha. it's, a, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's it's a constant problem. Yeah. I'd imagine it's also super annoying because when the connector goes, there's no repairing it yes. when it's broken. There. Exactly. Exactly. How many microphones are you? You're managing all this full number is like twenty plus mics every single so night. So twenty. Well, so every single night, yes. This mm -hmm. is twenty four, twenty eight, something like that. Um, I always forget. <laughs> but um, yeah, so you know. Per show, yes, but also we have so many swings and understudies. Right. We have so many people who cover different roles. So like our man five, he covers Hamilton, he covers, covers Burr, he covers George Washington, he covers the Sons of, Sons of Liberty, so that's- That Lafayette means he can Jefferson. step into any of those roles. Exactly, okay. yeah. Um, and so, and also he covers his own role, which is Man 5. Um, and so he has, I think, like 14 mics for himself. So like, cause, and every, also too, you know, like Julius, who is our, our main Hamilton, yeah. he has this rig, and then he has a backup rig in my lovely cubbies. Oh my so goodness. that way I have something to, ready to go. Right. But so with our Man 5 vents, he's got 14 mics ready to go. Oh my God. Yeah, so I think we counted it up recently. I think it's like 116 mics that we have just like at the ready. How, um, how, what is an average show night for you like? Do you have many disasters to take care no. of? In the general, <laughs> it's really it's pretty quiet. It's, yeah, it, well, it's, I like to say it's really quiet and if it's not quiet, there's something going wrong. Right. You know. So it's lots so. of boredom followed yeah, yeah, by moments yeah. of abject terror. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I can, um, I can relate. Any, but I have time to like, you know, fix any notes that I have piling up or like read or Facebook, you know. Now I see you've got a Dremel vice going on here. Yes. And I'm just curious, pan of vice, I'm curious. Can you walk me through some of yes. your, the maker stuff that you do here? Totally. Oh yes. yes, I just found one of these. This little stretcher for those, oh. The um, torture device as well. This is like, yeah. I found it, I think the one I found was for banding birds. <laughs> Oh, like their feet are Yeah, to put yeah. a little oh. number band on their foot. So this is super cool. It's a pair of pliers with three things that stretch out a rubber band. So we that call this the Hellerman tool. And then these little um, sleeves. <laughs> yeah. These, called. these are called Hellerman sleeves. And they come in different sizes as well. And probably different um, colors. And Actually, they only come in black and pink. Oh. Um, and there's a black that turns into a brown, but... That's, Not on purpose. You know, no. Okay. That's neither here nor there. Um, so here's an earpiece that mm -hmm. is, you know, kind of blank right now. So you've bent this to the actor's mm -hmm. shape, and this is a little bit to help it have some yeah. stiction on the yeah. back of it. Yeah, and also give it like a little bit of cushion as well. Sure. Um, and then this is measured kind of up to her mouth, but also it takes away from the length of the mic because it will tie there. Okay. Inside. Yeah. So I now I'm guessing that this Hellerman sleeve helps hold the mic on the. Yeah, and so the Hellerman sleeve actually helps me tie it on because I can't tie it without it actually being, you know, connected. Attached, yeah. sure, sure. And then I'll, later I'll put a Hellerman sleeve here to keep it um, tight. Oh, that is so cool looking. I'm glad I didn't cut my nails here. All right, so. Um, all right, so then for this, so we are basically using a fly fishing knot. Mm -hmm. um, it's called the whip finisher. I'm not a fly fisher, fly fisherman, fly fisherwoman, um, <laughs> but I know how to do this pretty well. 
So, and this is the thinnest piece of um, material that they have. This is like. That is crazy. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you can like, I mean, you can you can't barely even see it. Yeah, see it's, it. it's invisible magic line, wire. essentially. So, what I do first is, so I just make a holding knot mm -hmm. at the very top. So that first Hilderman sleeve is just really like a little bit of an extra pair of hands. Exactly, and later I can I will cut that off because I don't need it anymore. Oh wow! So this I'll is just a few wraps, really and then the dead end. So now this I can walk away. I can go use the bathroom. If I'm doing this during a show too, like then I can go take care of an emergency. Um, but if you're doing this during a show, it's also potentially an emergency. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, or just like I got, you know. Oh, you're just you know, taking care of some other yeah, ones. Yeah, right, exactly. Right, okay. Yeah. Um, so now we'll do the wood finisher. So this is called the wood finisher tool. Really? Yep. Um, and it's kind of cool. So like this is a little like free form from the tool itself. Oh. And then these balls help like if you hold it and so yeah. So you can Ooh. like. So you can exactly. kind of, it so spins by itself exactly. or you can grab that and get mm -hmm. to. Oh, yep. I think I see what's happening here. This yep. is really cool. It's very cool. Is this something that you had to make, or does this? No, a... no, no, no. This is something I bought. Okay. Um, which I really, and especially this one. Like, like this one, I really like. I'm never gonna lose this tool. <laughs> this one works for me. All right. So okay. you hook it, and then it goes under this little elbow piece, All and right. you kind of make like a little triangle. And so basically, what we're doing is we're wrapping the old line around the new line. So you can see the old line is up here, and then the new line is down mm -hmm. here, and that's going into the spool. So, wrap. Wow. Wrap. Wrap. This is totally changing my whole reality. Ooh. That is super neat. And then, spool. Oh, and you can use it to tie a knot? Exactly, <gasps> so that's it. So like, if I were to cut this, yeah, then it, it would just be a knot. Yeah, it stays exactly. And, I mean, do you then, like, it can, there's still potential for movement up in here. Is there a securing so, spot of glue that gets put yeah, on? Yeah, so I do put, I, I'll put some super glue. Mm -hmm. I only put super glue here and then at the end. Right. So I'll do another whip finisher and I kind of whip finish up until, like, this point and I just wrap it. Wow. And then I finish with, a, with another whip finisher. Oh so my God. I have to take a picture of this. Yeah, that yeah, is yeah. super, super crazy um, cool. So then a finished one looks like this. So you can see the whip finisher, and then wrap, 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 wrap. And it wraps all the way down. Mm -hmm. And then wow. another whip finisher. Yep. And so, I mean, when these are on them, they're very low profile. Very you hard. don't see, like, you know, you don't see a Hellerman sleeve all the way down the mic. Right, you know, it's right. very, and this also, too, like, this is behind the ear. So right. this little, like. You just don't see it. Yep, exactly. Yep. So I'm a big fan of these. That my is my favorite thing to make. It is. I mean, I imagine it's very relaxing it is, and it zen. Is. Yeah, yeah. Once you get the hang of it, when you first start doing it, it is incredibly frustrating because you're working with an invisible line. So it's when, like, when you can't literally you can't, can't see, see it. it. Yeah. When I first started doing this, I was like, I'm never gonna get this. But once you get it down, it's just like it's very zen. Yeah. That is an. I had no idea that the that the construction was so delicate. Yeah. That's beautiful. And then you get into like you know people have different ears. Like I have an attached lobe, so like this doesn't work very well for me. So you have to make you know the earpiece just a little bit bigger. Right. Um, yeah. So you get into like very like weird intricacies with like you know just how people's like faces are shaped. Now I know that yeah. King George. Whereas my his mic is in his crown, mm -hmm. so that's a totally different yes. kind of construction. Yes. Um, and honestly, like this one is much easier <laughs> than sure. that. So wow. we are. The oh, keeper the micro pack's of, already yeah. in there. Yep. So we're the keeper of the crown. And um, strangely enough, people don't know this, but the whole thing's edible. Is that right? Yes. No. <laughs> it's, it's just total lie. You eat it? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. It's not very tasty at all. Um, yeah. So we keep the the mic pack, so the mm -hmm. transmitter inside the crown. It's actually just Velcro to this. It's I actually, love it's all the very... little bits of elastic yep. holding the line. Yep. 
And this, my cable is only 18 inches long, so we don't have a lot of, like, most of my cables come, um, I think they come in six feet right, sizes. Right. So this one is nice and short. You've had too. it custom made to? We ordered it. Right, yeah, right, yeah, right. But exactly. Oh, and um, I see the microphone's yep. disguised as a spot of her yes, mind. Yes, exactly. All right. Yeah. So that way, I mean, this is the perfect position for a mic when it's on him. Right. And, you know, the flip, the flip side of this is when he wears the crown, the mic under his wig literally from the poof. So, you know, we, we love the mic crown. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because if that doesn't work... <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go grab a hand mic off stage well, just and take finish this off. the song. Oh, oh right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> now you can hear me. <laughs> um, yeah. That's awesome. So every, you come down here to get this put on every night? We, it's up, yeah. You send it up It's, it's upstairs, because okay. yeah. with all the accoutrement that I have on yeah. top oh, of yeah, it. Yeah, you're not bouncing road. around. Yeah. yeah. May I hold oh, it? Of course. It's a, oh, okay. It's a little lighter than I thought, but still. There's this some is, weight to it. There's yeah. a weight to it. Yeah. The reason I said edibles is because this looked like candy canes to me. <laughs> <laughs> that is beautiful. Yeah. I mean, that's there's a whole character right here, isn't yeah. it? Oh, Can absolutely. Can we put yeah. it on for you? Absolutely. And uh, yeah, where's the I have a nice, I, I know that that's my, my comfy spot right there. And I have to get it over the hump of, this, this little hump of the ponytail oh, okay. oh. behind. And then bring it forward and then it's, it settles right in. Right in. Now I'm really in character. <laughs> <laughs> that's beautiful. Yeah. And it's funny because if you, if you tilt your head, there is some weight. It'll take right. you. Momentum. Gravity. Yeah. Uh, uh, gra yeah. Gravity's working on you without yeah. a doubt. <laughs> that is fabulous. Adriana, thank you so much. Well, of course. Just this amazing. is amazing. 